the soldiers and, and the categories of soldiers. And so, you know, I work closely with someone called a CCT, which is a combat controller, because I have to have dialogue to communicate with all of the aircraft. Um, and so that dialogue is very difficult. And with Michael's uh, overseeing the dialogue, we got to make sure that we cater to the real authentic dialogue of the Air Force, but yet create a balance of making sure that the common folks who don't understand that language could understand it too. So it, it, was, uh, it was a bit of a challenge, especially with all the explosions and stuff going on around. It was a challenge. Uh, yeah, I, the, the first one we had a, a few days out in Fort Irwin, and then the second time we just sort of jumped into it. I was in New York, and we just sort of had a bit of a refresher course, but uh, there are military advisors, Harry Humphreys is out there, there's a number of people from all facets of the military. And I think that we both took a lot of uh, pride in trying to make, in trying to represent the military as, as closely as we could. I've got a lot of friends in the military, and, in Antover and Iraq, so what, that was my main focus, was to try to, you know, represent them well and make them proud. And if we didn't, they would let us know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.